Mrs. Howe, 75, from Albuquerque, New Mexico, who has been awarded for her paranormal research through website earthfiles.com, says she was contacted several times by the whistleblower she has only been referred to as Brian. In a series of videos released on YouTube, Mrs. Howe is heard interviewing Brian about what he allegedly saw. Brian, 59, who alleges to be a former retired U.S. Navy Petty Officer First Class Flight Engineer in a squadron called Antarctic Development Squadron 6, claimed to have been part of a crew that flew through a no-fly zone above Antarctica, and saw UFOs, aliens, and a giant entrance hole to an alien base. He was said to be stationed there between 1983 to 1997, when he retired, and on several occasions saw aerial silver disks flying over the Transantarctic Mountains. In the videos, he claimed there is a top-secret collaboration between humans and aliens, with Antarctica a major research ground for the projects. The large hole was said to be 5 to 10 miles from the South Pole, in the supposed no-fly zone. He also said a group of scientists had gone missing for a week and come back terrified and refusing to speak. Then at a camp near Marie Bird Land, some dozen scientists disappeared for two weeks and when they reappeared, Brian's flight crew got the assignment to pick them up. Brian says they would not talk and their faces looked scared. In an email to Mrs. Howe, he said, Another unique issue with South Pole Station is that our aircraft was not allowed to fly over a certain area designated five miles from the station. The reason stated because of a air sampling camp in that area. This did not make any sense to any of us on the crew because on two different occasions we had to fly over this area. It was on the opposite side of the continent and we had to refuel at South Pole and the direct course to this dangerous camp was right over the air sampling station. The only thing we saw going over this camp was a very large hole going into the ice. You could fly one of our LC-130 into this thing. Talk among the flight crews was that there is a UFO base at South Pole and some of the crew heard talk from some of the scientists working with and interacting with the scientists at that air sampling camp, large ice hole. Earthfiles has published the redacted DD-214 document and Antarctic Service Medal given to Brian on November 20, 1984 in a bid to confirm his credentials.